Hello, everybody, and welcome to Bellocraft episode five. So we're starting today's episode with uh, a little bit weird. I am still wearing the egg eye. Ah, why am I wearing this skin? I am. Um, I guess we'll do this episode with this skin. So we're gonna start this episode off by making a shulker farm, a farm that I have never made in my life, but. I'll try. I'll try my best. So, I was getting the resources for it, as you can see. Like, there we go. Okay, I think we have enough pumpkins now. The pumpkins were kind of the most annoying part. I need something here, but I don't know what it... Oh, wait. Okay, there we go. I think this should be it. Oh, no, wait. I need a target block. Okay. We'll get the target block at the industrial district. So, while I'm on my way to the industrial district, let me just tell you guys about... Uh, what we're gonna do in this episode and I am lagging that's gonna happen a lot. Oh, yeah, by the way uh, I I brought a shulker. It's Where is he? He should be chilling right here. Yep Shulker boy. I Don't know how I'm gonna move it because I have never moved a shulker in my life before but We're gonna see we're gonna see So right here is what is this? This is new never seen this before Wool, two diamonds, one step, two diamonds, that? that's a robbery, no, what are, what are those prices, wool, wool, more like expensive wool, jeez, and I cleared out a giant area here in the industrial district to build the shulker farm, so now we should have all the resources except the target block, let me just go here, we're also going to start a new new mini game, a server wide mini game this time, not like the mm, ore hunt. It's going to be a bit more different, but I think you guys are going to like this one a lot more. We're going to do that in this episode as well. Probably like the second half of the episode is going to be dedicated to that. Okay, I have all the resources now for the scaffold shulker farm, but the only problem I have right now is getting the shulker here, which I don't know what to do, honestly. As you can see, the farm is done. I mean, I decide to build it in the end. I said I was going to build it in my industrial district, but then I decide to build it in the end because it's just way easier to just build it. Oh. Come down here. Come down here, you freaking stupid idiot. My god. I was messing up the minecart. Yeah, I closed the farm for a little bit because I think we should have enough shells for now so let me just show you how much we got come on yep okay that should be enough for now i don't think i need more or okay <laughs> let's get to the next point in the video so for the next thing that i'm gonna do i'm gonna need a lot of green dye and what's a better way to get green dye than making a cactus farm which is literally the easiest farm to make and this is like all the resources mostly Maybe a bit more glass could be good. I mean, the, oh, this is just empty. Wow. <laughs> this is like literally all I need. So let's hit it.
Okay, it is finished. Here is the cactus farm. Okay, it might not be as good as you think, but it will produce enough for now. Like, I don't need 20 million... Um, okay, there we go. I don't need 20 million cacti. I need to, you know, get about like 32 to a stack. That's how much I need at the moment to, you know, continue going on. But I will make a better one because I do need uh, more. Or I will just make this taller and taller. Because we can go as tall as to the height limit. So, that's going to be all the farms for this episode. We're going to be working on other stuff now. As soon as I have enough uh, green dye, we're going to be doing something cool. So, let's... Okay, the, the, the thing is, you it will it will be like a lot of time for me. I have to AFK here, like hour or something, and then get the get the required materials for the build. But for you guys, it's like in about 20 seconds. So I guess I guess I'll see you then. Okay. Next thing in this video, I wanna fix this. This is just a mess. So what I planned for this is maybe we can make a really cool like a fog effect you know what i mean that's just going down from there to here i mean there is enough light there to make the fog effect happen so we just start from that die right right there and then we just go da 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 da, da and we make a cool fog effect i'm gonna try to make one in creative and see how it turns out As you can see guys, this is finally done. I am actually very happy with how this turned out. Like just look at this. This is beautiful in my opinion. And the slime balls in the fog. Of I just love this so much. And the slime uh, coming to hold the road. Oh, this is so good. So I didn't want to overwhelm and bore all of you with many, many time lapses. But this video kind of turned out that way. So I didn't do a time lapse for this. But this is our new mini game. This is going to be, hopefully, make this server, you know, a lot more fun to play for a while. Like, spice it up. Spice everything up. So, the game is called Curses. So, like I said, game is simple. First, you need, you take uh, a piece of paper here, you write your name on it, and then you throw it in this mud. Since mud is, you know, nine pixels i think no not nine pixels but you get the idea a hopper can pick up anything from it and after you do that you write a curse to put in which we're gonna do right now okay submitted well we're gonna see how this turns out uh when you know everybody submits their thing and then someone's gonna get that random curse i hope it's zebra because i know he does his buildings a lot okay now that all the industrial and serious part of the video is done we're gonna get into pranking. So this is my good friend Brady's base right here, and it's looking a little bit bland, you don't you think? Like, I, I built this for him, which is probably the only cool looking thing in his house. Okay, I'm just kidding. This place looks actually pretty neat, but you know, it can uh, it can be better. It can definitely be better. And what better way is to make it better than put some mud? Yeah, mud is a great block, a great building block. So we're just going to take all of this mud. We're going to turn this into, oh, oh wow, no, no. Uh, there we go. We're going to turn this into mud bricks. 
And what I'm planning to do is, as you see, he has stone bricks. You know, maybe like, mud it up a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Like that one right there. Oh, yeah, looks awesome, doesn't it? So, I'm doing Brady a favor here as well while doing this. He should be really happy with how his base is gonna turn out after this. I... hmm... Should I get the stair variants as well? Yeah, I don't get lazy with my pranks like some people do. So there we go. I'm gonna... There, break that and boom. <laughs> That's amazing. We do that right there and let's put... Right there. I'm gonna change that one as well. Okay, now let's get into normal breaking. Where is my normal mud bricks? Oh no, oh, well, I did not mean to do that. I literally made this fun. Oh my god, I just ruined my own thing. Uh, we don't have cracked mud bricks, am I right? I don't know, let me see. Uh, can I don't think so, though. There's a good chance we might, but there's a good chance we don't at the same time. Yep, I knew it. Okay, we don't. Oh, hello, Mr. Zombie. You will probably turn into a drowned and live like that forever. Or I'm gonna kill you. There we go. See, isn't this a lot more, you know, this is this right here is adding variants to Brady's base. This is perfect for him. He, he will be so happy when he sees his base like this. Oh. Oh, yeah, this, this wall needs some uh, renovation as well. There we go. Oh, I'm loving this so far. Yeah, me, uh, this wall needs a little bit more renovation. Let's make the <laughs> let's make this wall just freaking mud mudland. Yep, there we go. I have all the mud that I need. Oh, it's a it's a one now. It's it's number one. Yep, this is me telling Brady that he is number one. Yep, definitely nothing else. We put that there. We put that there. Okay, I think house renovation is- oh no. Okay, house renovation- oh no, wait, that was a stair, uh, uh. There we go, okay, it's all fixed, everything's in the past now. Actually, wait, uh, I think this would look better, like that, yep. Yeah! We fixed Brady's house. Oh, no, 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 no. Why? Why? Nope. I do not accept this. There we go. Yeah, I think we fixed Brady's house, so... Yeah, Brady should be very happy with his new house design. And now we're gonna move on to something else. I was thinking, and what's a better way to end this episode than going on a shopping spree? Yes, we have a lot of new shops that have opened up. We're not gonna go to that shop. That's a big scam. I would love to go to that shop, but I'm not gonna. Oh, by the way, that uh, shelter is now Jerry. He's the shopping district mascot. Hello, Jerry. He's probably named subscribe to Zebra right now, but no one cares about that. He's gonna be named Jerry soon enough. So, first of all, let's start with Grimly's shop. I know he has a lot of things in here. So, let me just get some diamonds. Like that. That should be enough for our shopping spree. Let's go. Oh yeah, 32. That should be enough. So, soul sand, blackstone, nether bricks, crying obby, obby, leather, gold blocks, emerald, iron blocks. Hmm. Or emerald blocks. This one sounds cool as well. Okay, let's buy three stacks of emerald blocks. And... I have to. I have to, there we go. <laughs> we bought five stacks of block of iron. I think that should be good. So let's check upstairs. What does he have up here? Bones, totems, totems. Hmm. Might be useful in the future. Bones definitely will be useful. Uh string. Not useful at the moment. Oak, arrow, scaffold, nether quartz. Fire, nether quartz, does he, oh, he sells like that, spectral arrows, ender pearls, ender chests. Wow, that's a scam. <laughs> Golden carrots. Oh, yeah, I actually bought from that. Name tags. 
I might, there's a good chance I might buy name tags, but probably not. So let's go to Connor's shop, which is up here. This shop looks wonderful, by the way. Just look at this. I'm a big fan of this and how it looks. So if I'm right about this, he sells beacons and wither skeleton skulls, right? Wither skeleton heads, yep. And the beacon. Oh, yeah. So I need a beacon for my next project. So I'm just gonna take that and put that there. I need another beacon. I already have a beacon, but I need another one. I don't know what this is. What is this? I, why do I have it? Okay, just gonna act like I've never seen it. And... Uh, should I visit that shop? You know what? Let's visit it for the tree's sake. This weird tree branch thingy's sake. Ooh. Okay, it's a scam. Bye. <laughs> yeah. So... This is gonna be the end of the episode. I know this episode wasn't too long. I wanted to make it longer, but you know, a lot of things came in the way and I had to just cut off a lot of other things. Next episode though is gonna be a lot longer because me and Brady will do a lot of things in the next episode. I wish I could have included all those interactions in this episode, but I can't because of certain reasons which you will understand when I actually include them. So. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Uh, this is not the type of video that is like, oh, hello, um, come to this video and just watch million player interactions. That's going to be the next video. Next video, we're going to talk to Brady probably most of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed episode five and I'd like to see all of you in the next one.